Well, hello and welcome to the WebMonkey Show. My name is Alex and today we're talking about cookies. And no, I am not talking about the kind of cookies that you eat with a glass of milk. I'm talking about web cookies. And specifically, I'm going to show you how you can inform visitors on your site that you are running cookies on your website in order to avoid breaking any laws. And specifically, if you look at what we have down here at the bottom of this website, we use cookies to give you the best online experience. By using our website, you agree to our use of cookies in accordance with our privacy policy. Now, this is one of my favorite websites, gold.com. And the reason why you are seeing this message, and in fact, you will see similar messages on many websites. Now, the reason why this is because a few months ago, a new law was passed in the EU, in the European Union, where users or the website owners have to inform uh, visitors to their sites that they're running cookies on the website. The whole idea here is that uh, visitors should be willing to give their consent to the website to store uh, cookies on their behalf. Now, if you're not familiar with what cookies are, well, there is a site here called whatarecookies.com, very original. <laughs> you can go there and read more about cookies. But basically, cookies are files which store uh, data on a user's computer. So basically the way it works is if you visit a site running cookies, the cookies could store some information about you, such as your first name, your last name, maybe even your address. And if you're on a site where you can customize the things you read about, maybe your topics, uh, your favorite subjects, cookies can store such information. So that the next time you visit that site, all your personal preferences will be, will be presented to you almost immediately. That's what cookies are used for. They're basically used to monitor uh, what you like on a website. For the most part, it's safe. It's not really that uh, bad. It's not like anyone's invading your privacy, but sometimes uh, you might want to be careful as to which uh, sites store uh, cookies on your behalf. So you can go to uh, whatourcookies.com to read a lot more about cookies. Now, depending also on the kind of browser you're using, whether it's Firefox or Chrome, uh, you can actually view the cookies that have been stored on your site by the different websites. And as an example, over here, I'm on Google Chrome. So if I wanted to read or see the cookies that have been stored on my computer, all I will have to do is to come over here to the three dots in here. I'm going to go to settings. All right. And then from settings, I'm going to scroll all the way down here where we have the advanced tab. I'm going to click in there. And then on the privacy and security, and we'll have to scroll down again a bit more to where we have content settings, click in there. And I'm going to click on cookies right here. All right. And basically this is where you can actually control whether or not you want any website that you visit with Chrome to store your cookies. By default, it's checked to be on because it's recommended, but you can always choose to ignore this and just block uh, any website from storing cookies on your behalf. Now, to see all the cookies and site data that have been stored on my PC so far, all I would have to do is to click on this arrow right here. And there you go. There's a lot, a lot of cookies that have been stored on my computer because I visit a lot of websites. And you can see one here from Envato. Uh, gifts.com, lots of them. And uh, I don't want to scroll down any further because you might actually begin to see cookies from some porn sites that I've been visiting lately. And uh, <laughs> I don't want you to see them. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's just, let's just move on. But uh, basically, this is where you can view uh, all the cookies that have been stored on your computer. And you can do the same with Firefox, uh, Opera. It depends on the kind of browser you're using. You can just Google and find out how you can... Uh, see the cookies that have been stored uh, from your favorite browser. But anyway, anyway, let's move on. So basically, we're going to make use of a plugin here known as the Cookie Notice for GDPR by the Factory. These guys have made a really awesome plugin. And uh, you can see right now over 800,000 active installations. And it's a pretty good plugin for creating uh, cookie notices. So we're going to go ahead and create something like this very, very similar on this particular site here, which is one of my sample uh, websites. So let's go over to the back end. All right, let's come in here. Now I have already installed and I've activated the plugin. So when you do the same, all you have to do is to go to your settings 
and then you will see cookie notice. All right, so you can click in there. All right. And from here, you have the default message that says, we use cookies to ensure that we give you the best experience on our website. If you continue to use this site, we will assume that you are happy with it. You can always customize this message if you want to, but I like it as it is. I think it's perfect. And of course, you can make certain changes like the button text. Uh, you also want to enable your privacy policy a link as well. And I'm going to do this by clicking in here. All right. Now, you can actually generate one with a service known as uh, Ayubenda. I have never used one before, but this is like a professional uh, lawyer company where they do stuff like this. But if you're just a simple website owner and you're not like, you know, involved in like some very sophisticated website where you use cookies for certain kinds of things or whatever, uh, you can just go with the default WordPress uh, policy page. And if you're not familiar with that, if you're not aware, let me just uh, save this quickly. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, uh, recently WordPress, in accordance with the G GDPR compliance uh, thing, they now allow you to automatically generate a privacy policy page from your WordPress dashboard. And to generate this particular page, all you'd have to do is, under your settings, you will see privacy. All right, you can click on privacy tab right here. And with this option right here, you can actually generate a default uh, privacy policy page. All you have to do is to click on the new page button right here, C create a new page. And there you go. So WordPress automatically will create this page for you. As you can see right now, it says our website address is this, well, what we collect, stuff like that. So this is the default. Uh, privacy policy page that WordPress will create for you and I like it. I think it's fantastic. I'm going to go ahead now and publish this page. So we're going to use this page as a privacy policy page. So let's go back to uh, settings, go back to the cookie notice. All right. So here I'm going to select our privacy policy page. This is the page that we want to redirect users to. Uh, if they're interested in reading about our privacy policy. And of course, you can also synchronize with the WordPress privacy policy page as well. So that if you make any changes to your privacy policy page, it should be reflected on the actual page itself. So link targets, you can go with blank or you can go with self. The difference between these two is that blank will open up the privacy pol policy in a new tab, while self will open up the privacy policy on the same exact page. So that's the difference between the two. I'm going to go with blank, I like blank. All right, now in here, you have the ability to allow users to refuse cookies and even revoke cookies as well. So this really depends on you and what you're using the cookies for. If you're not really using the cookies for anything, you can give them the option to do that and even allow them to uh, revoke the cookies as well. I would consult your web developer before you make this decision. If you are using cookies, then it's best you don't give them the option to do so, all right? So basically what will happen here is if the user doesn't want you to store the cookies, they will have to leave your website. If they continue to stay on your website, then that means they have given you uh, their consent. So in here, you can add scripts as well for whatever reason with, with your cookies. This is where you can add uh, the scripts you can add them either to your header or the body of your uh, template again this will be something that will involve your web developer and now in here you can also choose to enable to reload the page uh, after cookies have been accepted I, i'm not going to go with that option uh, on scroll you enable cookie notice acceptance when users scroll this is becoming quite popular so i'm going to go with this option and basically, you can control by how many pixels the user would have to scroll down before uh, the cookie notice disappears. So I'm going to go in here with uh, 300 pixels. Cookie expiry, I'm going to go with uh, one week. All right. And then, of course, your script placement, maybe would you like to place your uh, script either header or footer? You can just leave it on header. There's no need to change this. And then... You can also enable uh, the activation. Basically, you can delete all of the plugins data if you choose to deactivate uh, the plugin. I'm not going to go with this option. I'll just leave it as it is. And then finally, we have the design options. Where would you like to display the notice? Top or bottom? Uh, animation? What kind of button style? 
I'll just leave all these as they are. Feel free to play with these options to your heart's content. I'm gonna go ahead now and hit save changes. All right, so for me right now, I'm gonna go over to my private uh, tab in here and I'm gonna go ahead now and visit the website and let's see if we have a notice and there you go. Right down there we have a notice and now a user can decide to click OK or click on the privacy policy link. But check this out, if I scroll down, down a bit more, the notice is still there. But if I go down, 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 and there you go, the notice has now disappeared. And that's because we said if the user scrolls down by more than 300 pixels, uh, hide the cookie notice. And that's why the notice has gone. So this is how you can add a cookie notice to your website. It's a good thing to do. It's not going to take long for you. Uh, plus, you will be fulfilling the EU cookie laws and the GDPR regulations as well. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey there, would you like to acquire skills in web development or cybersecurity? If so, then why not consider enrolling in the WebMonkey Academy today? Created by an experienced instructor, the WebMonkey Academy is an online platform dedicated to providing you with world-class courses. From HTML to CSS to WordPress and even cybersecurity, we got you covered. Learn in-demand skills and launch your career as a web developer or cybersecurity analyst. Start your free two-week trial today and get free access to more than 15 courses with over a thousand hours of content. Check the link below this video for more details.